Russia is ready for a potential conflict with NATO in the Arctic, said the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the country, Sergei Lavrov. We see how NATO is intensifying exercises related to possible crisis in the Arctic. Our country is fully ready to defend its interests in military, political and defense technological terms, Lavrov said. According to Politico, the announcement was another display of military rhetoric from the Kremlin, which has repeatedly threatened the use of force against NATO and its allies, including the possibility of nuclear conflict. The Arctic is the northernmost point of the Earth and its territories belong to eight countries – Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Canada, the USA, Iceland and Russia. All countries except Russia are members of NATO. Finland joined NATO last April following Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Sweden joined the alliance in March this year, bringing NATO's membership to 32. Lavrov also emphasized that the Arctic is not NATO territory and emphasized that other countries such as China and India have their own interests in the region. Earlier, one of Moscow's high-ranking officials warned that Finland would suffer the worst in the event of a war between NATO and Russia. In February, Russia suspended its participation in the Arctic Council, an intergovernmental forum that includes Arctic countries. This was the result of a boycott by other participants after the start of Russian aggression against Ukraine. Despite this, some cooperation was partially restored. The US military is steadily boosting its presence near Alaska, deploying a destroyer and an army unit armed with a long-range missile system as tensions rise due to stepped-up Russian and Chinese military activities near the Alaskan coast. Over the past month, the destroyer USS Sterrett has been dispatched to the Alaskan coast in response to the Russian Navy ships operating in the area. Army troops have landed on a remote Alaskan island and fighter squadrons and other aircraft based in Alaska have been placed on heightened alert. The actions follow a series of Russian air operations that skirted Alaskan airspace and as Russian and Chinese warships conducted joint exercises across the Pacific near Japan, Moscow has taken to flexing its muscles in the Indo-Pacific and the Arctic as its relationship with China deepens thanks in part to the war in Ukraine. Iran's armed forces staged their annual parade across the country on Saturday. The parade is held every year on the day Iraq started an eight-year war against Iran in 1980. During the parade Iran displayed its latest missiles and drones, including the Shahid 136B drone and the Fatah hypersonic missile. An older version of the Shahid drone has been reportedly used by Russia during its war with Ukraine. Russia has been receiving Iranian-made Shahid drones since 2022. Iran has denied sending drones to Russia since the war started. During the parade, Iranian President Masoud Pazeshkian addressed the crowds. If we are united, if we join hands, Israel the usurper will not be able to commit the crimes it's committing now in the region, said Pazeshkian. No evil has the courage to even harbor the idea of invading our soil in their mind, Pazeshkian added. اگر ما وحدت داشته باشیم اگر دست به دست هم بدیم اسرائیل قاسم قادر نخواهد بود این جنایت ها را این گونه که در منطقه داره پیاده میکنه پیاده میکنه پیاده میکنه هیچ اهریمنی جسارت این که تفکر این که بخواهد به خاک عزیز ما تجاوز کند در ذهنش هم نمیتونه تصورش رو ایجاد بکنه ایستادن ایستادن تا شما آسیده باشید تکیه اماغ را ملاحظه میفرمایید
سامانه شکیه خیلی در شکیه 